Hi guys, it's Sam and I'm back with another video for Lawn Fun. Today I'm going to create an interactive card with the new Snow One Like You Stamps and Dies, Snowball Fight Stamps and Dies, Slide On Over, and Stitched Hillside Dies. I'm also going to use the Snowflake Background Stencil Set. And as usual, I'm just going to start my card by stamping all of my images um, with black ink onto some Strathmore mixed media vellum surface paper, and then I heat set it to dry. Um, and then I'm going to spritz a little bit of water on my craft mat next to where I'm coloring and get my water brush damp, not, not soaking wet, not dry, but damp. <laughs> that the Goldilocks sweet spot. <laughs> <laughs> and I am going to just color my images like I usually do. I always start with the darkest color and then I use the water brush with a little bit of water to pull the color out. Then I go in with the um, medium color, pull that out with the lighter color and then pull it all out again with the water brush. And for my critters, the bear, the bunnies, and the mice, I'm going to color them all in browns. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I wanted to do that because I wanted, I didn't want to take away from the fun interactive element from the card. And I thought the little pops of color with their scarves and hats would be, would stand out better if all the critters were the, you know, similar colors. So the bear is a little bit darker and the bunny is a little bit lighter and I'm going to color the mice the same way where some are a little bit darker and some are a little bit lighter, but, but all the same colors and families. And I decided to color their scarves and hats in a homage to the rainbow because it is me. <laughs> so they each have their own little color of the rainbow. And then when I place them on the card, It'll be in the rainbow order from top to bottom, mostly. I mean, it's not perfect. I don't have purples and I don't have a specific blue, but it's, <clears throat> it's cute. <laughs> um, this little guy is going to be building some snowballs for their little fight. And they're just going to have a blast <laughs> in the winter snow. We live in the south, and so there is, well, there was one time snow. <laughs> <laughs> and it was amazing and my kids still talk about it, but it's there's never snow here and it's rarely cold enough <laughs> for anything like that. So getting to create cards like this is is fun for me and you know makes my kids and I wish that we could play in the snow, although <laughs> we would be very underprepared <laughs> as far as clothing goes. Uh yeah. Uh all of my critters got pink cheeks and I colored the snowballs with just a little bit of gray so that there was um, a little bit of color. And it was really simple coloring since the images are so small, but just adorable. <laughs> I do end up adding some white gel pen um, details, just a few here and there. Next, we're going to work on the back of the card. And I am going to show you how the one of the stitched hillside border dies lines up almost perfectly with one of the slide on over dies. And so I'm going to use that one as the little mountain or hill that the uh, little critters are sliding on. And I've die cut all of the stitch hillsides to create my mountains in the background. And uh, what I should have done is attach them all to this card base. Um, just like I'm kind of doing here, and I should stop here, stop here, glue it all down, and then move on. But do I? No, I do not. <laughs> I decide, oh, I, I, you know, for slide on over dies, it's best to work with a double layer of foam tape. So I'm like, let's double layer this foam tape on my, you know, these two mountain panels. What I didn't realize was this is not where the double foam tape needs to go. So I am going to proceed. <laughs> until I realized this was a mistake. Um, so I'm heat embossing the sentiment on the front hill, attaching it to the second hill, and then I am going to just use my foam tape to create the double layer that is 
alas, unnecessary. However, I wanted to keep it in so um, everyone can see, you know, maybe, maybe I'm the only one who makes these mistakes, but <laughs> if you also make silly mistakes, you are not alone. So this is how the card is going to look, and I'm placing my slide on over die so it lines up with the mountain, and I die cut that out, and this is where I realize, oh, I forgot to color the sky as well. I was just so excited to make this card. I honestly did not think of the, the, the logistics. <laughs> so I die cut out another border with that same shape of the stitched hill sides. And I'm just going to use it as a mask or a stencil and color in with Distress Inks my sky. And it works perfectly. No harm, no foul. I use a uh, blueprint sketch at the very top, mermaid lagoon in the middle, and salvage patina at the very bottom, just to add um, a pop of that pretty blue sky for a winter winter wonderland. Then I'm going to use the snowflake background stencils and some of the white embossing paste from Lawn Fawn and uh, let it dry. Once it's dry, I'm going to use the other stencil in the set. Same process, white embossing paste, set it aside, let it dry, and take off the mask, and it's perfect. <laughs> Nothing got on where it wasn't supposed to, and I was managed to save that part. But this is where I realized, look, I shouldn't have put the phone tape there. I die cut out, again, the two stitched borders, and adhered them flat to the card. And now this is where I'm going to add the double foam tape on the entire base of my card. I'm putting the penny there for the slider mechanism to sh and using it to see where I can add the foam tape and where not to add the foam tape because you don't want the penny to be stuck by the foam tape. And then I'm going to add the two layers of foam on the penny as well. I'm going to use my powder tool all along the perimeter of the foam on the penny just to make sure it slides back and forth really easy. And I'm gonna add my sled image to the penny. And I just put my foam tape, my foam block, my um, acrylic block on top to let it dry. And now I'm gonna attach all the rest of the happy fun scene to my card, just gluing it directly down. I'm not popping anything up because we have that double layer of foam tape already. It's a pretty thick card. and. I'm just making this fun little <laughs> scene and it is so easy. <laughs> um, and then look how um, the card is like basically almost finished. I'm folding over my card base and pulling off all my foam tape. Of course, I'm going to add glue everywhere because I adhere all the things multiple times. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to add the die cut part from the slider die right back in. You didn't have to because it's all white, but I did because um, of the weight, you know, the, the snow, the stitching of the snow. And the card just, the slider, this little slider sled, <laughs> oh, I'm getting all tongue tied, just goes back and forth on the card and it's so adorable. Such a fun, <laughs> fun, fun, fun card. And I love the texture of the snow on top with that cute little mouse throwing a snowball. And at the bottom, those two mice getting ready to get in on the action as well. I hope everyone had a great time making this fun, simple, interactive card with me. Even though I made some mistakes, <laughs> be sure to check the card out on the Lawn Fawn blog and have a great day. Bye!